Hello guys and uh, welcome to our tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to um, add depth of field. Now um, I have this scene called b.mb equipped with a camera so if you want to follow along please feel free to download this scene from my blog for free. You can find the link in the description below. Now my blog is monetized so you can support my channel and my sponsors through their ads. That way I'll continue giving you guys free scenes and models to follow along my tutorials. So um, another way to achieve realism in rendering is through depth of field. Now this is a common technique used in photography where you highlight one part of the scene by keeping it in focus and blur out the rest of the scene. So that way you achieve a, you have a point of interest and achieve realism in the scene. We can simulate the same effects in Maya using depth of field in the camera settings. So to get to the camera settings, if you download the, this scene from my blog, you have exactly what you're looking at here. So just go to view, um, camera attributes, your camera attributes will come up. Now scroll, if, you, if you're already there, you can just click depth of field. But um, let's go ahead and render this first. This will render quick because um, because we haven't added the depth of field, okay? So to, to add the depth of, depth of field, it's easy as just clicking that and, and uh, render your scene. But once we add the depth of field, it will take longer because um, depth of field is a bigger, it's a, it's a big, it's, it's, uh, there's more of a process to it. Now you've, um, you have a B that's blurred out a little bit, okay? It's not as clear as we want it to be. But we can actually, um, we can actually clean it up and see the distance. W what happens when you render it with um, default, whatever is on here, Maya will work with the distance. So right at the moment the distance is 20 units. Maya will calculate the depth of field from 20 units, then it will fade, it will apply the depth of field. And that's not what we want. What we want to do is actually set the depth of field, but we don't know where the camera is, so we don't know the distance of the camera to this object. So to, to know the distance of the camera to that object, let's just go ahead and activate um, let's just uh, go ahead and activate the, um, the distance. So to activate the distance, to be able to see the distance, just go to display, head ups display, heads up display and uh, object details. So now we'll be, we'll be able to to know the object details, okay? So if we click click on the head Maya will calculate the distance between the head and the and the camera and the distance will be displayed here. Distance from the camera, 8 units, alright? Um, sorry, 11.369 units. So, to actually render it properly, we have to render it, we have to specify the distance to 8.369 units. But, at the moment, we are working, the, Maya is working the distance, the distance from the camera to the middle at center zero zero you know where the um the where the locator is which is the central uh, center zero zero but we don't want that we want to actually have a locator that will tell us the distance and to find out to use the locator and use it properly we can now uh, find the locator by using create and uh, click on locator locator will be in, um will be in the scene so just go to your orthographic view and um, just press uh, just press uh, W to move the locator. Um, orthographic view again. Okay, which one is the best? This one. Go that way, and we know it's off. Put it back in that way. So we've got the locator. Okay. So um, the locator would tell the distance between uh, uh, from the camera to wherever the locator is. So if we actually, if we actually bring the locator to the head, to the head, if you want to focus on the head, bring the locator to the head. In your um, perspective view, go to your view, camera attributes. You have your camera attributes on there. So so far we know that the distance from the locator, from the locator to the camera, is fifteen point four units. So just go ahead and write fifteen point. 421 if you want to or 15.4 it doesn't matter just do that and go ahead and render your scene see 
so right now we've achieved uh, um, realism by actually focusing on that that's our point of uh, interest and the rest will just blur out you know that's um yeah that's pretty cool so just uh, close that and uh, and uh, play with that in, in your own time the other option if you've noticed we've got um, focus distance f-stop and focus region scale so these are all the options that Maya gives us but let's look at um, let's look at that we've looked at uh, focus distance which is the distance between the point of interest and the camera now let's look at uh, f-stop so so um, if you want to you can also change the f-stop this works exactly like the 35 millimeter camera all right so if I do if I change the f-stop to um, something as ridiculously low and big as 1.8 if I take it to that and uh, render it remember 1.8 which is a very wide lens I'm going to get a lot of a lot more depth of field the um, the blurring will also start a lot more quicker in the, let's just see how it renders but that's what I'm yeah there it is at the moment I've, I'm using a a wider lens which is a 1.8 lens alright so um, the result here is um, it's going to get a lot more depth of field. We're getting a lot more depth of field, and the blurring is starting a little bit quicker than before. Before it was around here, now it's right there. So that's um, that's um, how this works. So let's add a, as um, a smaller angle angle lens. Let's add something maybe ten. All right. Let's uh, increase it to 10 and go ahead and render this again. If I increase it to 10, you have a lot less depth of field as compared to, see, we, we're getting a lot less depth of field. This is because, um, this is because it's, a, it's a low angle lens and um, the depth of field starts um, a bit later, if you know if that makes any sense. So that's how that works. Now. Um, if we look at focus region, okay. Now um, we we have we also have focus region scale, and this is pretty much your fudge factor. So we can increase specific focus distance. We can increase specific f stop, but we can also increase the fudge by making our focus um, by making our fo focus region bigger or smaller. Okay, this one here. We can uh, increase or decrease that by making it bigger or smaller. So what ha what that what what that does is um if your focus region will just be that like a little bit you know how the the, the head is like it's not flat it's um more like slopy. This bit this bit will be closer to the camera than this bit. Okay. So if you want your focus region to be instead of um, the circumference of maybe two if you want your focus region to be four you can increase that then instead of little focus region there you have a bigger focus region that's why that's how that works so guys go ahead play with it and um, learn more all right um what else do I need to tell you um if if your f-stop is giving you okay if your f-stop is, isn't giving you the exactly the exact result that you want you can play with your focus region otherwise play with that for now make sure you're comfortable with it and move to the next tutorial that's all you have to um, that's all there is with depth of field this you actually just have to play with it if you're not subscribed guys um, please subscribe and if you like my uh, my blog please comment and uh, yep I'll see you in the next tutorial guys thank you very much bye